Cheetah Cub Acrylic Painting Time Lapse and Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Paper. Hi guys! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the last of my little baby animal painting series, and this one is a cheetah. So I've got, previously there was a giraffe, a zebra, an elephant, a lion, and now we have a cheetah. So when they're arranged, I've got my elephant in the middle, the hoof stock on the outside, and the felines top and bottom. So there's a nice little set of five, and I, I'm probably the only person that notices the hoof stock, feline, elephant thing. But it makes a difference to me and I like the symmetry there. So I enjoy that little fact that those are all organized by their category. So I hope you guys like this one. I think she's an adorable little cheetah. Same thing, light pink background. You can switch that out for whatever you like. This whole little series, this whole little set is just, I, I'm so happy I made them. I absolutely love them. I hope you guys like all of them too. There are links to the previous ones in the description box below. So check that out and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So to begin with, I'm going to start with that light pink background as I did with all of the others. And I already have my painting all sketched out on the canvas. And like I said in all of the previous videos, if you are doing this in a different situation, you may not want there to be a light pink background. So you may want to change up, change that up. I like the light pink. It works for what I'm doing with these. So yeah. So then I'm going to be painting my little cheetah. And I began with the chest area and then I kind of worked my way down her back. So the chest is the most in focus aside from her face. And then kind of as it goes out, it gets a little bit softer continually as it goes. And you can kind of see I did it. This is very quick. This is kind of what I would call like almost speed painting. And so you're just using the combinations of your browns and creams and blacks and grays to do this. And she's got cheetahs, cheetah cubs in general are very, they have very long fur that gets progressively shorter, but they have this gorgeous mane that just kind of goes all the way down their back, this little scruff. So as you can see, it'll get there right there is where I'm starting to do that part of it. Just very long, longer hair than you would expect to see on an adult cheetah, but just make sure that you're using longer strokes to kind of, um, to give it that feeling of nice, nice long cheetah fur. So just make sure, like I said, nice long strokes, make sure it looks really fluffy. And then I'm going to begin working on her face. So I just did the first layer of paint over her face. I'm not worrying about any of that fur texture. So I'm not doing this the same way that I did on the body. So I'm not worrying about adding those little, any of that fur texture at all. This is just the color. So just the first layer of color down. All of the fur texture I did with very detailed little strokes, just to give it a very, a very detailed um, in focus, easy to see feeling to it. So I'm going to be adding the spots that are on the forehead and just kind of some of the textures going down. Cheetahs, cubs, and adults, they've got those beautiful tear lines that go down their cheeks. So I'm going to be adding those as well, just making sure that all of those different colors and different areas are all filled in on my little cheetah cub. And then I'm going to be working my way down her nose. I did not at this point add in any of the details on her eyes or her nose or any of the color there that I did all later. And so I'm just going to be working on the fur. So as you can see, I'm adding those little tear lines and then I'm going to start and I'm going to be adding the fur texture and I, I do this systematically. So it's not just finding a spot and starting there. You want to start in the areas that are farthest back. So on my cheetah cub, the areas farthest back are going to be her ears. I know that on some of some of the different animals, I know that on the lion cub, which is the last video that got uploaded, one of the ears was behind and one was in the front. So, but this, with this cheetah, both ears are behind. She's got some nice little forehead hair that's going to go over the top. Then the next area that really has where it sticks out, I'm going to just kind of do the rest of her face. Usually I'd kind of do like a chin and then work my way, but because her chin just sort of continues on to the rest of her face, it's not separated off. I just kind of went with it. So then over the areas where there's that light gray kind of blended in for the spots and the tear lines and everything, I took black paint and I'm going to be adding all of the fur texture over there, as well as adding some little fur lines in some of the darker areas and adding some more here and there, and then taking some charcoal paint, which is just a slightly less black than black, and I'm going to be adding some little fur texture in the darker areas of her face. So she's got a little bit of a shadow, just very subtle shadow on the one side of her face versus the other. So I'm going to be doing more of those darker tones on one side than I am on the other, as well as I'm going to be taking some brown paint and I'm going to be adding more fur texture on the darker side of her face. And then a couple little details kind of making those little, little stripes on their cheeks where they've got the whiskers kind of stick out. And then just some, just, you know, little brown lines here and there. When you're doing these lines, make sure that you're using a very small brush. Um, I find that especially if you're just going to a, a art store and you're looking for a little liner brush to do this with, you're not going to find one small enough. That's my 
my opinion. So you're either going to have to cut it or I also do nail art and I find that really high quality nail art brushes that are meant for doing little details for nail art are very good for doing these fur texture lines because they're intended to make little teeny tiny lines. So they do a really good job. So if you have, if you just search nail art brushes online, you can definitely find those. And I, I mean, it's, the brushes are fine. You can use them for anything. So yeah, it's my recommendation there. After you have all of your darker areas filled in, take a cream color and add all of the highlights and all the little fur texture on the brightest areas of her face. So the, you kind of either want to make the fur texture darker than the color that you painted initially or brighter. So when you're painting that initial layer of paint over the face that you that you did. You don't want to make it the exact color you want your cheetah to be in the end. Either make it a little darker, or a little lighter, or some of both. So I know my darker spots weren't quite as dark as I wanted them to be, and then the rest of the fur was a little bit, was a little darker than I wanted it to be. So you kind of have to balance that out. And then over the nose, you're going to be using just grayscale and adding all of the details there. It's a very dark little nose, so there's not really too much to it. And then you're going to go over her eyes. Painting animal eyes is always my favorite part of of a painting. So I'm always, once I get to that part, it's always very, um, I don't know, it's exciting. You know, you got all that fur texture done, which can kind of be tedious at times. So then you get to the eyes and it's just so exciting. And there's so, there's so many creative options when you're painting eyes that you can just kind of explore. So I'm going to be painting the eyes with really warm orangey brown tones. All of these kittens have really gorgeous, gorgeous caramel eyes. And then adding the pupil, adding the little highlight there. I also added with, as with the other paintings, a little bit of pink in the highlight in the eyes, because that's going to make it look like she's in this pink room, this little pink room, and she's just sitting there. And cause then the color of the walls will be reflecting onto her eyes. And then with white paint, you're going to want to add the whiskers and that is it. I hope you guys like this painting and I will put links to all of the other ones. If you missed them in the description box below. So if you missed any of those other ones that I mentioned, please check those out. I think they're all adorable. So I hope you guys like it and don't forget to check out my Facebook and Instagram to see more of my art and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.